Hi everybody, Jacob Reed here from ReviewEcon.com. Today we're going to be looking at question number three from the 2019 Macroeconomics Exam, set one. If after watching this video you still need a little more help, head over to ReviewEcon.com and pick up the Total Review Booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your Macroeconomics AP exam. Let's go ahead and get into the question. Now this question starts off with an assumption about Econoland. We're assuming that households are going to increase their savings for retirement. And we're going to show the impact of that increase in savings on a properly labeled loanable funds market graph. Let's start off by drawing out our axes and then label the x-axis quantity of LF or quantity of loanable funds and our y-axis as the real interest rate. Just like most other supply and demand graphs, our demand curve is downward sloping, our supply curve is upward sloping. Make sure you label the equilibrium real interest rate, I have it RE there, and the equilibrium quantity of loanable funds as QE. So what does savings have to do with the loanable funds market? Well, that supply curve there, I call it the savings supply. And when we see an increase in savings, we're going to see a rightward shift of that supply curve, which is going to drive down the real interest rate. It'll also increase the equilibrium quantity down there on that x-axis. Draw it out like that and you've got yourself your points. Part B here is a little bit trickier. Now, based on that decrease in the real interest rate that we just saw, we're going to say what will happen to Econoland's purchase of foreign assets. We need to remember that foreign investors seek higher rates of interest, and that's because foreign investors get paid interest. Remember that when we talk about an investment generally, we're talking about businesses buying physical capital and they pay that interest. So they like a low interest rate. But foreign investors, on the other hand, are getting paid that interest rate and they seek a high interest rate as a result. And since interest rates are higher elsewhere, Econoland's investors are going to increase their purchase of those foreign assets. To get the explain point here, you have to say because and connect it to that math here of the higher interest rates elsewhere. So I say because there are lower interest rates in Econoland and that will cause investors to increase their demand for assets where interest rates are higher. And if you say something like that, you've got yourself a point. For part CI, we're looking at the foreign exchange rate for Econoland's currency. And based on our answer in part B, what will happen to the international value of Econoland's currency? Remember the citizens of Econoland who invest in foreign investments seek those high investments. That means they are going to be selling their currency and buying other currencies as a result. So because of the lower interest rate in Econoland, Econoland investors are going to supply more domestic currency and foreign investors will demand less because they don't want those low interest rates. You don't have to draw the graph, but here's what it would look like. We have a increase in the supply and a decrease in the demand. Both of those shifts will cause a decrease in that equilibrium exchange rate, which means that the currency has depreciated. Just say depreciate and you've got your point here. Now for part CII, we have to base our answer on the depreciated currency we just talked about. So now we have to identify the action the central bank could take to keep the currency from depreciating. Well, they could either buy currency and that would increase the demand or they could sell currency and that would increase the supply. Which of those actions would cause the currency to appreciate? offsetting the depreciation we saw a moment ago, buying bonds. Just identify it like that and you've got your point. And there you have it. If you got all of that right, you are on your way to acing your next macroeconomics exam. If you want a little more help, head over to reviewecon.com where there's lots of games and activities to practice the skills you need to know to ace your macroeconomics AP exam. If you still need a little more help after that, make sure you pick up the Total Review Booklet. It has everything you need to know to ace your macroeconomics or microeconomics exams. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time.